Welcome back everybody to Casual Gamer Oz as we find ourselves in Montreal for round 7 of season 6 here in F1 2017 career mode. My name is Ben Waterworth, the driver's name is Ben Waterworth and we're driving for Toro Rosso and uh, one thing we're actually going to do here is we are going to switch over to a newer engine mode because I just realised we've got to do this before. We also got a 750 R&D point bonus from the sponsors from doing so well. I think it was a winning Monaco. Let's do this. Um, and we've already put an upgrade ready to go for the next race which was in the chassis department which is nice. We have put the difficulty level back up to 60 as you can probably tell there by already being overtaken by Sebastian Vettel. Uh, so we haven't uh, therefore uh, taken the easy route into this and uh, decided to try and do that. Uh, although maybe towards the point here we might if we feel that our reputation is not increasing as good as we would like. Of course here in Montreal our best qualifying is pole position. Our very first cracker pole here back in Season 1 of F1 2016. Uh, that saw us get a pole position here, but we've dropped down uh, the order here. It's kind of like Australia, I feel, slightly, in that we're not doing actually anything wrong. Just the pace, just uh, a lot worse off than we think it should be. So, interesting. My uh, favourite circuit on the calendar, of course, is Montreal. So, uh, let's see how we can go here. We're not going to get pole. A pole on merit, I want to say, uh, taking out our Monaco pole and victory get a good little run here. We'll see how we can push the, the limits of this little kink here, which we can... Oh, hang on! They haven't disqualified us for that. They did this a couple of seasons ago! Oh, that was a sneaky pole! Don't know about that. Back-to-back <laughs> -back poles. I was expecting to have to do a flashback there, but um... Pole on merit? Well... Poll based on actually um, having the difficulty mode up, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really feel that, uh, that yeah, that's satisfying. Anyway, puts us in good stead perhaps for the race. Let's see how we go with that. We'll do that now. Yawning again, my goodness. <sighs> well, alright, so we've uh, never won the Canadian Grand Prix, have we? No. Best finish here of second in that race we got pole at. Um, which, yeah, I mean, how have we not won the Canadian Grand Prix? Interesting, though. We've actually, that's our best finish second. And in F1 2017, fifth is our highest ever finish, which we've achieved twice last season and our very first season. So there you go. Um, we get a nice chunk there. And oh, look at that. Red Bull again, getting very close, moving right up to that right-hand side. That's what we want, obviously, this season. That's why we're doing things a little bit differently. And you would think, maybe we're going to dry race too. You would think maybe that I would deliberately be pushing for Ferrari. But look, again, I'm happy to get any offer next season. I'd almost take a Sauber drive next season. So sick of driving for Toro Rosso. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I'm going to stop yawning. Hey, very unprofessional. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this, Canada. Back-to-back -back wins. We've never had back-to-back -back wins before. Interesting. I, again, I know Monaco was a bit different, but... Um, let us see how we shall go, eh? Our win tally is at four on uh, Casual Game Rods. Twice in Italy, once in both Brazil and Mexico. Never in Canada. Can we add it? Oh, and uh, obviously uh, five now with Monaco. Uh, so here we go. Montreal is go. Now that red arrow was already there before the start. That's interesting. Whoa, what a start there by the Ferrari, if you don't mind. I was paying too much attention to my right-hand side to not see uh, Vettel come out of nowhere. I get a collision warning with... Um, Hamilton, which I didn't even uh, feel there on the back of my car. So very interesting. What a start by Seb Vettel. Absolutely incredible. I think he was third, wasn't he? That was uh, that was amazing. And we often... Oh, I'm going to have to uh, flashback myself there. We often see that, don't we? That uh, third place in this game, uh, just not with uh, that, but I'm talking about AI in general, will often... Oh, God, okay. we just been that even worse. Um, we'll go ahead there, so very, very interesting. There's some sort of uh, built-in mode here where third place seems to be able to 
take the lead, but uh, this is very similar, I feel, to what happened um, on our very first pole position, F1 2016. We lost the lead off the line and uh, did not even remotely get close to, uh, I think that was Rosberg back then from memory too, but uh, I think we can get Vettel still. That's why I didn't flash back that sucks. We're going to get him here into the hairpin to be precise. Whoa, Vettel takes that back. All right. Seb's here to race. We're going to get a good bit of uh, exit speed from the hairpin with the most powerful engine in Formula 1, if you don't mind. That is how you take the lead of the Canadian Grand Prix. And after starting on pole, we lost the lead, but we've taken it back. And again, if maybe you watched us in Monaco, thought I cheated my way a little bit there by having that on very easy. I've uh, switched this back up to 60 so we are now back to hard. So that is uh, where we're at in terms of the difficulty level here in Montreal. And uh, hopefully this can bring us our first win on merit rather than uh, having to rely on uh, reducing the difficulty too much to uh, achieve it. Something which I'm sure you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just do that anyway, Ben, if you want to get out of this? Well, I don't want to make it too, too easy. And I still feel this is a slight bit of challenge on 60 with flashbacks, you know, we've still got to obviously race to our limits, and clearly, uh, you know, Monaco is our first win for the season, we're still having a bit of a battle here with Vettel, which feels good, and uh, obviously we want to be able to find ourselves, uh, well, there's still a tad bit of a challenge, so we don't have to use the flashbacks if need be, but anyway, sure you know what I mean, I feel like I'm making so many excuses for what I'm doing, it's my fucking video channel, I'll do what the fuck I want. A way to keep your uh, viewers there, Ben Chedmaster. I hope you enjoy that little bit of language. I'm sure, if you were offended by it, you wouldn't watch anything that I produce because um, clearly that's what I do a lot. Alrighty. DRS we activated now. Another fastest lap, if you don't mind. DRS won't uh, affect us, of course, unless Vettel gets within a bit of a sniff of my rectum. Hamilton up into third again. We're going to be uh, ahead of Botas, of course, who's our fourth place rival. I believe we're only a point behind coming into this, so this will do very well for us to get into that top four, that where we want to get. Although this too, actually, might give us a bit of a sniff on Lewis. So we're getting ten more points than him. Possibility we could be third in the championship after this round, funnily enough. Back-to-back -back victories, of course. And uh, surely, surely, if uh, we weren't getting offers, I mean, come on. We would have won four Grand Prix in less than a season's worth of races for Toro Rosso, including the Monaco Grand Prix, which, okay, we sort of had a few bits of assistance there. But, I mean, come on. Bottas actually is way back in fifth there. So, uh, we'll get a nice bit of chunky points taken out of the fin, which is nice. And the, uh, the old fuel mix is working a treat here in Montreal. That new engine that we strapped in is uh, obviously uh, liking the fuel mix a little bit better so we will be able to keep that into rich mode for the entire Grand Prix barring any major catastrophes as I thought I set the fastest lap again which I did but the Ferraris all of a sudden say well well anything you can do we can do better so interesting there Raikkonen uh, would love for him to get ahead of uh, Hamilton because he's losing out in the championship whoa big slide coming into that corner there there's a little bit more time. Vettel's going to have DRS on me at this point. So with only half a second. Whoa, he's got some good drive here. Sebastian Vettel, I think he's going to have a bit of a go at me. I'll cover the inside. I'll cover the inside. And it goes red as he has a slight look at me. But I'm going to get better drive out of those corners, which is interesting. Given that he should have a lot better drive in that beautiful Ferrari of his. But uh, this will uh, bode well, of course, for my reputation with Ferrari. Uh... Racing wheel to wheel with one earlier and then uh, beating them thoroughly on track. So uh, hopefully we can maintain this and uh, maintain ourselves. There's a very blurry section on the front car. I've noticed a lot of people complaining about that online, about the blurriness on some of the uh, the racing suits and the the cars and uh, the the helmets. And uh, Comas is saying that. They should have a fix for that, but at the time, at least of this video, they haven't uh, achieved that uh, fix. At least at the time of recording this, I mean, between now and when we post this one, uh, they might have. Not too sure there. So we uh, just have to keep on pushing through. Back-to-back -back victories. And you told me back-to-back -back victories from Monaco to Canada. 
Uh, I would have struggled to believe you unless you told me how I did it. So Azerbaijan next, which is a circuit which we're kind of, um, I mean, I'm, I like the circuit, I just obviously have trouble there, but with flashbacks we should be fine. Um, and then Austria, a circuit which I like and should do well at. Britain, a circuit which I'm not the biggest fan of, but we generally do okay at. Hungary, struggle there, generally. But again, flashbacks, who knows what we can do there. Belgium, we should be good with our engine. Italy, well, we won there last year, so we should win there again this year. Singapore, hit and miss, generally. Malaysia, hit and miss. Japan, I struggle there. Maybe we have to put the easy mode back on there for Japan. Uh, then we've got USA, generally do well there. Mexico, won there last year, of course. Brazil, do well there, won there before. And then uh, Abu Dhabi. And we're going to get that all wrong into the last corner. But it doesn't matter because we're still going to hold on to win unless Vettel can outdrag us here. Which I don't think he will. We're going to win the Grand Prix, folks. Back to back. Canada victorious. Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Top job. Thank you, Jeffrey. What an asshole. And even congratulate me. Well, fuck you, Jeffrey. He doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> Jeffrey doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> he got sick of me complaining about him. Jeffrey doesn't love me. <laughs> oh, there he is. Back-to-back -back victories. It's my fourth victory in the last 14 races. So, good form for myself. Look at that blurriness in the helmet by Verstappen. It looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. Pump the fists, and the flags too are blurry. Notice it. Beautiful car, isn't it? The livery's beautiful. I'm just sick of seeing it. First ever time I win my favourite Grand Prix in this game. Well, at least on Casual Game Roz. I've won it before, but uh, just FYI for those at home. Good job. Yeah, you spray that little prick. <laughs> Love that. Hey, I'm going to fucking spray you. Only kidding, bro. I just wanted to put a glitch in there at one time. The other driver punches him in the face. That'd be funny. Alright, let's have a look at how these go here. Only one by point four hundredths of a second. Wow. Uh, I win. Vettel, Hamilton, Raikkonen, Bottas, his driver of the day. Who is it? Esteban Ocon. Okay, fair enough. Start of 13th, went to 10th. Yeah, good point. Uh, Bottas, Mustapin, Ricardo, Grosjean, Massa, Ocon. Do we need to see a replay? No, we don't need to see a replay of this one, do we? Uh, so, I've moved up just third. Look at that. Third in the championship. I'm only 39 points off the lead. My goodness. I'm not going to challenge the championship this time around, but who knows? Uh, Vettel, Raikkonen, and myself. Hamilton, Bottas, Ricardo, Verstappen, Massa, Grosjean, Perez, top 10. Constructors, we move up to third. We have to take Red Bull. Can you believe it? Uh, Ferrari, shitting it in, though. Again, if only we had a teammate who could actually score some points. Let's see what this does for our reputation. Obviously, there will be a uh, invitational after this, but we're not doing it. So, sorry about that. If you're dying to see another invitational, it's just not going to happen. Um, as we can just find ourselves loading, loading, loading. Keep that message loading. We really want to get to the screen, which is now, now, now. Uh, 99. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's not that great. Let's see, with our sponsor bonus, that helped us. Uh, 682, okay. Our rivalry. Boom, motherfucker. We're kicking our throat. Here we go, reputation. Oh, look at that leap from Ferrari. My goodness, that's good to see. Uh, if we can fill up the Red Bull bar, just keep that all the way up the top uh, and just keep on the Ferrari flow, and who knows. Ferrari now ahead of McLaren and Sauber in terms of uh, wanting us, so that's good. Um, Renault in line. So at the moment, you'd say we'd get an offer from Red Bull, Renault, Haas, and Force India, and you'd take the Red Bull one there, wouldn't you? So, uh, there you go. All right. So that's Canada, folks. Back-to-back -back wins. We're after Azerbaijan next. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and we appreciate you joining us here for another episode on Casual Gamer Oz. Thank you very much, and we'll speak to you next time. Good night.